guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another Torrid Fall Haul. Um, Torrid Cash just went out. By the time you see this, it's done and gone, sorry. Um, but I went ham. I think I had 300 and some dollars in Torrid Cash. Like, I went ham and I bought a lot of jackets. So, if you want to see what I got ready for fall, jacket, cozy weather, clearly, then just keep watching. So I have a gigantic box, like I don't think you understand. Um, so I'm just gonna start grabbing from it. And normally I try to do some kind of order when I do these videos, but there's no order to a box like this. I'm just gonna start grabbing. Actually, there is one order. Let me show you shoes first, because I did buy a couple of shoes. Ooh, these feel like heavy duty. So, I first bought, they're called Fur Lined Mule Black Faux Suede. That's all it calls it. Um, I got mine in a size, it doesn't say, nine and a half. And they retail for $45.50. So, I thought these would be good because they act as like mules, but I personally can't stand the look of mules, like full, full fledged mules. <laughs> So these are what they look like. So the whole thing is furred. I like that there is no back, so they're kind of slippers. I did not notice there is a slight heel. Like it's tiny, but there is one. Um, and then it's just got the gold chain detail. It looks so cute. I have a video coming out that you'll see hopefully in a week-ish. I have to wait for everything to come in, but I had a stylist hired um, and a lot of the outfits he wanted a mule. I actually bought these before I even talked to him, but I hate meals, so, so I'm gonna use these instead, so I'm really excited. I hope they fit. I'll go ahead and show an insert for you. I have anything to say that is really comfy. I just wanted to show them. All right, I got another, another shoe, another pair of shoes. Um, These are called the late, oh. I shouldn't have bought those other boots for the video. These would have worked. Shit. Um, these are called the Laced Up Fur Lined Booties, Faux Suede again, black. Um, they retail for $65.50. And I got them in a size nine and a half. So these are what they look like. Um, they look like kind of the combat boot trend that is in. I just personally cannot get on board with like Doc Market Martins. I just, I don't know why. That's also another thing he tried to get me to buy. <laughs> so I did end up buying some kind of version of a dupe, which you'll see. And I forgot I was already, had already purchased these. So I've been looking for kind of like a tennis shoe issue look that's all black because I need to dress up more for work and I have no black shoes that aren't flats and because of my back I cannot use those right now so I was hoping these would work but they're literally just like it said a faux suede boot and the whole thing is fur on the inside oh I'm excited so let's try these on So I'm just going to go ahead and jump in with the thing that I think is probably my favorite, even though I have not tried anything on just from buying online and looking. I feel like it's going to be my favorite. It is like, let me get you the technical name. Uh, Leopard faux fur hooded coat uh, retails for, I just realized none of these have the size on here. Retails for $119 and 50 cents. Uh, I got mine in a size 4X. So these, um, their jackets and coats are always expensive and on the expensive side. So I personally try to purchase them when there is toward cash or a sale of some sort. So that is why I went ahead and bought it now. But it's literally just a faux fur leopard print jacket. Um, the inside is like this black lining and then it does have a hood and don't you worry, it's got pockets. The thing that I thought online that I didn't notice is I was assuming it was a zipper but they are actual snaps, which isn't that big a deal. But I'm obsessed already. So let's go ahead and try this on. Okay, this coat is amazing. Like, it's so soft, so comfortable. It is definitely heavy, so it will keep me warm. 
that's for sure. But like, it's kind of cute. Oh, it's got pockets. Um, and then it does button it up. Do a couple. But, oh, okay. So, it doesn't fit the tits too well. But I don't really plan on buttoning it up. <laughs> this is so adorable. I love this. The next item is called a popcorn duster in the shade coffee. It retails for $79.50 and I got mine in a size 4X. There's something in my lip gloss. I can feel it, but I can't find it. So it is just a really long duster. Like it said, oh, this is so comfy. Oh no. I got it. That's annoying. Um, this is really, really soft. It is lightweight, which is kind of nice. Like the quality, like this whole thing feels heavy, but you can definitely tell it is one of those breathable sweaters. So it'll keep you cool, warm. Ugh. It'll keep you warm, but not like over warm. So let's go ahead and try this on. Okay, this is the next sweater. This thing is so soft and so comfortable. I don't know if you can see. It goes down pretty low. It's definitely past my knees. This is my new favorite sweater. This is so comfortable. Oh my gosh. And I think it looks really cute. I really love the color of it too. I feel like it'll go with a lot. Okay, the last jacket I have is called the light gray textured long line boyfriend blazer. Um, it is a size 4 and it retails for $89.50. Okay, so that's literally what it just says. It is a long lined blazer. Again, just kind of something that'll help make my outfits look more professional and put together, but still something that's going to be comfortable and stylish. So like, I feel like this kind of blazer could be something that helps you look more professional, but then also could just style up your outfit as a casual outfit too. So. I definitely am excited to have this. Hopefully it fits and looks good. Let's try it on. So this is the blazer. Um, the material is, it's fine, but compared to trying on the last sweater, now this feels itchy, but it's, it's not actually itchy. It is stretchy material, but it's not extremely stretchy. Like it still has some structure to it. So it definitely doesn't have too much wiggle room. There are pockets, but there is definitely a seam. So you would have to Wait a minute. Okay, so they're faux pockets, but on the inside it looks like there is a pocket. But they're fully sewed shut. There's not even a seam ripping option, so that's a little weird. Um, I can, I can button them. However, it is tight when I do that, so it is not very flattering. So if you have the idea of using this as an actual blazer with it closed, definitely size up. Otherwise, if you plan on just leaving it open like I do, then it's a perfect fine fit. All right, this next item I'm so afraid to try on because I feel like my makeup is gonna get all over it. Um, but it is the Everyday Tea Signature Jersey White. Um, I got it in a size four, retails for $27.50. Now, because of Torrid Cash, I think I only spent like $10 on it or something like that. But I need basics and preferably, preferably white basics. And I just, it's one of those things that I hate spending money on because I feel like it's so expensive for a plain shirt, but you also need it to go with everything. So I did just buy a plain white shirt. There's nothing fancy to it. So I'm probably not gonna try it on because I, I don't I don't see the point. So just thought I'd mention it though. Let's just move right along. The next top is called the Lace Dolman Top, super soft in purple, retails for $39.50. And I got mine in a size four. I've just kind of accepted the four life. I'm just gonna be a four for now on. Here is the top. I actually really love this like dusty mauve purple color. It's really pretty. And then the la the sleeves are about a quarter length sleeve, but the whole sleeve, oh, the whole top half of the sleeves are lace, which I'm obsessed with lace details. So let's go ahead and try this on. Okay, so this is the first top. I probably could have sized down. It is pretty big and baggy, kind of everywhere to be honest. This is super, super comfortable. The material is really nice. I think it said it was jersey, I can't remember now. But it is definitely stretchy like jersey. So you probably could have gone a three in my case. 
but I do really like it. It is really comfortable. The only downside is the way they have these cut. It's cut. I don't know how else to call it. I think of it as bat wings, where they're not actually cut to a seam to a seam. Like, it's just one seam. And those always are uncomfortable for me a little bit, because then your arm just sits on your side. And that just feels a little weird. But other than that, I do actually really, really like this shirt. It's so comfortable. And of course, I love the lace detailing. Okay, last item is called the Emma Baby Doll Tunic Chalice Black Floral. Retails for $45.50, and I got mine in a size 4. So this is the same, if you've watched my other videos, I had a dress in this style, and then I liked the dress so much I got a shirt in the style that was just plain uh, green. And so this is the same exact style, just a different print, because I am obsessed with this style now. I feel like it just flatters my body. But this is the shirt. It has the button detail halfway in the top, and then it has the tie around the whole waist to cinch the waist. I personally am just obsessed with this. And even though it is fall and winter, because I'm gonna be wearing so many sweaters, sometimes I really just like having the sleeveless top underneath so that I'm not too hot. <laughs> um, and so for me, I still like to have this kind of item in the fall and winter season. So let's go ahead and try this bad boy on. Okay, so here's the last shirt. I love it. I love the color, I love the pattern. And obviously, like I told you before, I love the fit, the cut of this, how it has the scrunch. So if I wanted to, I can pull it tighter to give more definition. I just love these tops. Like, oh, they're just so comfortable. And I feel like they're very flattering on my body type. And then obviously with having it sleeveless, this can definitely be something for when it's still a little warmer out, but also something that you can put a jacket on over. So I really, really like this. Okay, so that is everything that I got from Torrid. I know I've been doing Torrid videos like back to back to back to back, and I need to slow down and move on to other companies, other brands. I get it. It's just, I know what I'm getting with Torrid, so it makes life easy for me, but I will switch it up. If you have other places you want me to try out, let me know down below. But that is all I have for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.